Folks, it's great to be here sharing memories for our 25th anniversary of Bloomberg Play at Make Up Buzz 2020. What better way to recall the past and the present and the future than to join with some of our former volunteers. And uh, today we are thrilled to have with us Penny Stein. Penny, hello. Hi, thanks for hey. having me. It's a pleasure. So uh, tell us, just situate us. Uh, where are you at and what's happening in your life? Um, right now I'm, I'm uh, in my apartment in New Westminster, BC. Um, it's a sunny day. It's about plus 15. I uh, just came back from a four and a half kilometer walk. All right. Well, take us back to the uh, beginning and how the heck did you get involved with Live Work Play in the first place? Oh, how did I get started? I had uh, moved to uh, Ottawa from Vancouver for a new job. So I was, um, I picked up a, a, a newspaper called the Penny Saver. I don't know if it still exists anymore. And came across in the middle of uh, for sale items, um, an advertisement for a special needs network and looked at it and thought, oh, you know, I've been trying to figure out how I could get involved in the community. Um, I had looked at a couple of different options, but I thought I'm going to I'm going to try this one. And uh, so I called and I spoke to to Julie, who invited me over for an interview. Anyway, we had a nice a nice little chat, and I think I started the following um, the following week and got to know Julie and Keenan and learn a little bit about what uh, what uh, the special needs network at the time was was doing, and and uh, and that's how it started. So who were uh, some of the members you met back then who perhaps you're still in contact with today? Oh, my God. <laughs> um, well, uh, the Murphys, of course, um, um, we're in touch, uh, especially if I go when I go back to Ottawa. And uh, Cooper Gage, um, who is my landlord when I go back and he just and we have a great time together. And Ryan McBride. Um, Paul, who sends me uh, quirky little messages every once in a while, as does his, uh, his roommate, Alex. <laughs> Alex and I are on a different level. We're, we're sports-minded. Yes. And, and he's a silly San Francisco 49ers fan, which is just, that's disgusting. Yeah, painful, and, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and of course, Jaylin. Jaylin and I became a one-on-one, -on -one and, and we've enjoyed some, some wonderful uh, times. Uh, we did a couple of... Uh, 5k walks and and uh we try and get together whenever i'm there gosh who else tim i still uh you know i follow tim on um on facebook and i know i'm missing people and i and i hate that idea that i'm going to miss somebody but um carolyn matt of course and uh, jen harris and jenny and robin and uh moira back in the day you were uh kind of supporting the once a week outings. And then yes, uh, yeah. we got uh, Fran Childs involved to change things quite dramatically. And that's how you got the one-to-one -one, uh, match with Jalyn, yeah. for example. And now we have Alex who's carried that forward. Uh, but over that time, and then through any of the, back in the special needs network days or liver play days, um, you know, what are some of the uh, wackier situations that uh, you became involved in? You know, um, I, I, I I can't say enough about how much fun I had in those those all, all the time, not just the early years, but Christy Lake going camping. Oh my gosh! Mm. Um, Cooper and his skinny dip. Oh my gosh! That's when uh, he kind of woke up the entire lake and probably all the way to Perth. I'm not sure. But. Yeah, yeah, we uh, we had and watching uh, there was there was shooting stars. Do you remember that? Oh, uh, yeah. We were all out on, it. I don't know what it was. It was sort of like a huge raft that was on the ground. And yes. Looking up, it was, it was smart. <laughs> I'm not a camper, so <laughs> it was an experience for me. Um, yeah. I just remember from that that uh, you mentioned Carolyn, and she had enjoyed at least one peach cooler and was uh, really finding the stars fascinating. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what else? In that <laughs> yeah uh, we, we've had some some wonderful times and our and our our, uh, our Saturday morning brunches at uh, Bronson oh my you no know, uh, uh, and then of course the 
Paul wanting to use the industrial dishwasher with dishwashing liquid. That, that was probably one of my favorites well, as we were all walking around up to our, well, knees at least in bubbles. Yeah, we just paid <laughs> off the bill for that last week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I think, you know, Keenan, one of the things that stands out in my mind is when, when, um, when the group of, I can't even remember how many it was, 16, were going into the residence at, uh, at Carlton. Uh, oh, Lincoln. yes. That, that to me was just, uh, that's a standout. That's a standout. Yes, on our own together at Carlton. Yes. Yes. On our, I wasn't there when, when one of the twins uh, got locked out of his room in a towel. That was, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. I might have to dig that photo up if I can. Oh, just... yeah. For me, the most important thing is I've got lifelong friends. Beautiful. Because I was just thinking of, uh, you did a lot of different things, one-on-one, -on -one, the nighttime outings, uh, board member, uh, but also you hosted, you brought together uh, volunteers socially, I think, for some of the first time. Yeah, people. we did. Well, the first thing we I, we did was we had the, the Great Glee garage sale uh, at, at my place when I was still living on Glebe and you ate a record number of hot dogs, as I recall. One thing I would like to say is, is um, you know, in the 25 years, I, I wasn't involved in the entire 25 years, but I still feel I am involved now. In my day, everyone was dropped off by their families um, at the centers and, and we got on a bus together and nobody was ever, nobody ever traveled alone to 25 years later, which, to some people might sound like a long time, but it's not that now these same people who were being dropped off for the, the Wednesday night or the Friday night, whatever it was, are now living on their own and cooking and, I mean, and working. And the community acceptance, you know, I think, I think that has uh, the, the, you know, the, the way people are now being included. And I think uh, Live, Work, Play is a standout in that regard. Uh, but is there any other particular big moments that you've been really excited about or proud of? Or? Well, I think, you know, it's, I have to say every time I have been recognized uh, by Live, Work, Play for, for um, being a volunteer, it's been uh, just a, a really wonderful feeling and I've always appreciated it and having having had that opportunity to be presented with with uh, with the legacy award in front of the uh, governor general for me it's it's the relationships that I have as a result of, of my volunteer work and that's that's I would encourage anyone who's looking at volunteering uh, to think of it in that regard what you get out of it not necessarily what you're giving you know it's I got I got more than I gave that's the way I feel. Well, it's good to hear that because people, you know, your various volunteer organizations always say that and people who have never done it are kind of like, eh, I don't know about that. But it's great to hear it from someone that's just, no, yeah. really. <laughs> yeah. We're just so grateful you could uh, join us from how many thousand kilometers away. And, you know, that's the yeah. benefit of this, you know. I'm not sure what your involvement uh, would have been. And so it's great to yeah. have you as part of our memories. And uh, I know lots of people that know you will be excited to see you. And those who don't will be like, what a neat lady. <laughs> and look, she did her hair and put makeup on. Yay. <laughs> and you can find her on Facebook and we'll be talking. <laughs> That's right. Absolutely.